Good morning. Um, this is the 200th video that I have uh, put up on YouTube and I thought that it would be fitting to uh, do a little memorial tribute to this girl here. This is Shan Faith Swindells. She was a Salvation Army volunteer out in Rhodesia whenever the there was the conflict raging their uh, black uh, terrorists etc raged against the white minority government and uh, a lot of uh, innocent folks were killed in the crossfire and Sharon Faith Swindells was one of those she was shot dead along with uh, a Salvation Army colleague in June of 1978 and um, that's 36 years ago but her memory is still very fresh in my mind um, it's hard to get forget somebody who, who was uh, such a close friend Sharon and I, um, Sharon came from Bangor and she attended the Salvation Army Corps in Bangor and she and I were very good mates um, for the four years at Stone Millis College and uh, indeed the two years that she spent teaching in Kelvin High School. This is just a, a, another picture of Sharon alongside um, her friend Diane Thompson from Newcastle upon Tyne. They were both shot dead uh, whenever the guerrillas came to the secondary school that they were teaching in and opened fire. Uh, it is widely believed that the guerrillas uh, were trying to take away young people and train them up to be terrorists and that was their, their idea but uh, they, they shot dead Sharon and Diane. Sharon is buried out at uh, near Victoria Falls. Uh, her body was never brought home because of uh, difficulties and expense and um, we named our um, our daughter after Sharon. Uh, our daughter is Sharon Faith McLean. Sharon's death was um, widely reported in uh, all the Northern Ireland newspapers And here are some of, some of the uh, press clippings that I retained at the time. And there's another photograph of Diane Thompson alongside her. Murder of um, Sally Army Angels. And uh, this is a copy of the uh, funeral service at St John's Anglican Cathedral at uh, Bilawayo, 13th of June. Very, uh, very hard to understand uh, why nasty things happen to people who were only trying to do good and why uh, A God, if you believe in God, would allow his followers to suffer like this. And here we have a few uh, photographs of Sharon back in happier times. Along with uh, a few uh, Sunmas friends. And there's myself uh, in between Sharon and Hazel Shilliday receiving our Bachelor of Education degree. Uh, 
and yet another college photograph. This is uh, very much the uh, Sharon face from the Ellis that I knew. Um, not dressed up in a uniform or anything like that. A fun-loving person that it was uh, great to be with and we had such a laugh. Unfortunately, it, it was cut short by the actions of, uh, of evil men. And isn't that the way in so many uh, situations in life? I think that uh, photograph was taken down at the corn market. So, 36 years ago, um, some people would say that Sharon was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that is absolutely true. Um, but I suppose Christians would say that there's no wrong place and there's no wrong time. And uh, but it's still still very hard to take. Very hard to take. And Christians would say that God's ways are not our ways and we just are left in a position of not understanding um, of course the Bible also says that the the rain would fall on the just and the unjust together and uh, sadly Sharon's death was further evidence that we are living in a fallen world where huge potential is just cut short by people who would wish us ill or wish everybody ill. Okay, uh, quite a sad video for this morning. But I thought I would do this wee tribute.